Good morning guys. So tonight for dinner, I decided to pull out some stuff from the freezer and use up some stuff in the pantry that we have so that we don't have to buy anything to make dinner. Because everyone knows food is expensive right now and some of us don't have the option of just stocking up everything. I wish I had an extra freezer. I wish I had an extra pantry, but I don't. All we have is what we have. So to save a little bit of money today, as much as we can, I pulled some beef fajita meat out of the freezer that probably needed to be used up a month or two ago. <laughs> it's still good. It's within date, but it's looking a little freezer burnt. So we're going to use that up before it goes super bad and tastes awful. And I'm going to make some beef and veggie soup. I've made this before with ground beef and I thought, why not use the cooked beef fajita meat? Should be good. So instead of buying a whole bunch of stuff for dinner, I just figured we'd use what we have, make something good. It's still going to be delicious. I might even try to make some bread. If you know me, you know I don't really make bread. I can make biscuits. I can make Irish soda bread because there's no yeast. I don't know what it is about yeast that scares me, but I'm going to try. I'm going to find a bread recipe. I'm going to make some bread to go with our soup, and hopefully it's good. And we'll have some yummy soup for dinner. It's actually like 58 degrees outside right now. It's still supposed to get up to 90 today, but the cooler mornings feel so good, it feels like fall, so. You want bread? So yeah, we're going to do some pantry cooking, freezer cooking, all of the above. Make something good out of what we have and see how it turns out. And we got to get started on school. We're running late again today. It was cold in the bedroom this morning. I didn't want to get out of bed. Anyway. We're getting to it. We're going to get some work done, and then I don't know what. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so the rest of our stuff for dinner is coming from our pantry. We have some of this in the fridge already, but I think it's pretty old, so. So I went ahead and got Adam to grab some. This was $2. We didn't have any beef broth. I have bouillon cubes, but I just wanted this. This was a dollar. And then these little star pastas. I figured I'd put some pasta in the soup too, make it go a little bit further. These are 48 cents. So for two, three, fifty, three dollars $3.50 is all we spent on dinner today. And while I'm trying to save money on stuff, Adam got himself and the boys a treat. <laughs> he grabbed some of these pumpkin spice rolls. They'll be super excited about that. Those were two fifty. dollars So sometimes you got to splurge a little for a little treat. Makes the day better. Why not? It actually feels like fall today outside, and now I got a little fall treat. So this is all we had to buy today for dinner. The rest is coming from the freezer and pantry. And we're going to finish up school, and then I'm going to try to make some bread. We'll see. It's kind of cold in here. Hopefully it'll rise. But anyway, back to school. All right, so for lunch today, Garrett just wants a ham and cheese sandwich, which he eats with no mayonnaise, no nothing on it, just ham and cheese. Boring but there's a little bit of ham left, so he's gonna have that. And then Tucker still has leftovers from dinner last night. I hope it's not too soggy. It doesn't feel like it. So what we had last night, we're having for lunch. We have some big tortillas, some green onions, sunflower seeds. Is this all the lettuce that was left? Some lettuce, some diced ham, and black beans black olives, some Italian cheese, wonton strips, and ranch. We just made like basically a salad wrap or what were you calling it? A salad burrito? <laughs> Who called it a salad burrito? I think Garrett did. Anyway, just a whole bunch of veggies and things thrown together in a wrap. They were really good for dinner last night, so that's what we're going to have for lunch too. 
and Garrett's having a ham sandwich. The squirrels have just destroyed our trampoline. They're pulling all this blue stuff off. And over here they did it so bad there's just a giant hole. Don't fall through when you're getting in and out. Get your nose off the thing. <laughs> Tucker, you look like a bald old man. Anyway, squirrels are tearing stuff up. It's such a pretty day today. It's not too hot. It's like 70 something. It's supposed to get up to like 90, but. Uh, Garrett's got a couple pages left. The leaves are starting to turn on this tree. They're all over the ground. We're ready for fall. I don't know about you. So I'm gonna go make their lunch while they play and then <laughs> finish up school and see what else we're gonna do today. All right, so I was gonna make bread, but Adam said he would do it, and he's better at it. So we found this recipe from, what was it called? Now it's gone. Butter with a side of bread, I think was the website. I'll link it in the description. Easy homemade bread. So we're gonna make this to go with our soup.
right, so I'm getting ready to start dinner, and then I need to clean up this awful mess, but I printed out my recipe. I made this a couple years ago, and I'll have a link down below where it'll go to the recipe and the videos attached if you want to watch the video. Originally, I made it with ground beef, but I showed you earlier we had this fajita meat that's already cooked in the freezer, and we need to use it before it goes bad. So I just thawed that out and I'm going to chop it up. So I have some corn and peas. I would rather use cut green beans for this, but I don't have any. I have these, so I'm just going to kind of chop them in half or something, make them smaller. Some carrots. Usually I don't make this with pasta in it, but I thought it sounded good. I had Adam grab these little star pasta. I'll probably use half of this and throw them in there. We have some onion powder, garlic powder, and basil, some molasses and soy sauce, which sounds really weird, but that's what makes it really good. We have some beef broth, some veggie juice, butter and flour to make a roux, and then of course some salt and pepper. So if I was making this with ground beef, I would cook the ground beef with some minced garlic and some Worcestershire and then make my roux in my meat. But since I'm just using this fajita meat that I'm just going to warm up in the soup, I'm just going to make a roux, throw in my seasonings and my broth and veggie juice and my carrots to get those cooking because they're going to take the longest. And then I'll throw everything else together and show you how I make it. And this turns out so good. But yeah, this recipe is linked down below along with the video so you can watch that if you want to see that one. This one probably won't be exactly the same, but it'll be similar, so it's going to be good. Alright, burner, don't do your weird thing and ruin your soup. <laughs> the pot has a wagging tail. What are you doing down there? He da waddy waddy waddy. And Angus boy. Okay, while that's going, I'm gonna throw in my garlic powder. I'm not gonna measure, but the measurements are on the recipe. Some onion powder and basil. when you cook, except I clean it up for you. You gonna clean up my cooking mess? Yep. I just haven't gotten to him yet. I figured I'd do it while it's simmering. Alright, beef broth, 
and this measuring cup that pours all over the place when you pour it. Three cups of veggie juice. You can always add more later if it doesn't look like enough. Alright, I got all my stuff in there. I'm gonna put in the carrots and let those cook until they're kind of tender because they take the longest. And I'll cut up my green beans. And then I'll put everything else in. Alright, my carrots have been cooking for a while. They're like halfway tender. So I'm going to add in the rest of the veggies and add in the meat and let that all simmer together for a while and then add in the pasta. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for like, I don't know, however long it takes me to clean up the kitchen. And then throw the pasta in and that cooks for Seven minutes. nine to 11 minutes. So probably seven minutes because it's still gonna keep cooking before we get it in our bowls and you know what, mushy pasta. That's why I kind of want to make it separate. Because then you can just put some pasta in your bowl and then put your soup in the bowl. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cook the pasta separate, that way you can just add it to your soup and it's not going to get mushy and turn to goop. Alright, kitchen's cleaned up. That kid's clean. The other kid is getting clean. Garrett's all clean. Other kid's in the shower. Need to slice up some bread. This is simmering away, and now I'm gonna throw my pasta in some water.
What do you think of the soup? It's delicious. Good? Yep. And the bread? It's delicious too. Dad made good bread, huh? Yeah, and I gave it 10 billion stars. How many stars for your soup? 10 billion. And the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bread and barely anything. I give it 10 billion billion of soup and the bread. What do you think, Dad? Sounds pretty good. Mom, you know I've got one piece right there with butter on it. I thought you said you were full. <laughs> I thought I was joking. 